Wow. Um, my producing partner, Kelly McCormick, who is my um, wife, she got the material from Sony. They had adapted a book um, from um, um, Japan called Maria Beetle. And um, Zach Okowitz was the writer and he created this great script. And Kelly brought it to me. She read it. She's like, you need to you need to make this movie. And I was like, um, I love it, but it, this is hard. Like these crazy assassins on a train, like how are we going to do it? And so um, we talked about it and we um, we really loved the bold choices in the in the material. And we we decided to dive in. And, and from there, it was like a train speeding down the track. Brad jumped on board and um, and then it was undeniable that we're making this movie. It sounds so easy when you say it. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Your blood congeals, clogging your veins. I oh, said like... yes. Ah, shit balls. Look, shooting um, action scenes inside a train um, is a challenge, and it's not only the 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 logistics of being inside a tube, but it's also like how do you make them different. So we worked with the, the stunt team and we worked with the art department to create sets that were um, different and train cars that were different, like the dining car or the quiet car or the, um, the Momomon car, the mascot car. And so you really felt like you were playing in different environments and then you could use the props in those environments to have fun and, and be irreverent. <laughs> I have a, a lot of favorite scenes, but one that comes to mind is the um, Bad Bunny's character, Benito, uh, the wolf scene. Mm -hmm. um, seeing the story of the child who becomes a, a cartel assassin who ends up getting married and then runs into Brad Pitt, that sort of microcosm of that little movie inside the movie is so on theme for um, the idea of fate, which is the movie's about. And like how all, this guy's whole journey led him to that moment in time with Ladybug. Um, so much so I wish I could have done it for every character. It would have been really cool to just see where their life took them and how they all ended up at this moment in time. So I think the wolf scene is one of my favorites. Shit. What? Remember those two wackos from the Bolivia job? The twins? Yeah, I'm not so sure they're twins. Get off. It's really a good question. It is, it's hard to find the right tone. And I think um, when you have a, a movie as bold as Bullet Train, where um, the comedy is so big, you sometimes have to ground it with some real emotion and you have to find a way to care about these characters. So it doesn't just become a joke. And that was our biggest challenge. And I think we did it. We see the relationship between Lemon and Tangerine and their brotherhood. Um, you see the relationship from uh, Hiroyuki Sanada, the elder, and Andrew Koji's character, father, son. Um, and you see Joey King, even though she's a sociopath as the prince, and Michael Shannon is like um, the villain, they still have a dynamic that is father, daughter, relatable. And um, I think you need those sort of things in a movie as broad as Bullet Train to anchor it. And then it actually allows you to go on a crazy ride. And that's what Bullet Train is, of comedy and drama and thrills and action.